Hey folks, this is Mr. Walsh and we are on target uh, D10 and you'll see I have manipulatives out and it's because I think these numbers are manageable enough. This is a good time, a good good time to go back and uh, consider, think about what we learned about using those manipulatives and how they work in association with um, the uh, steps of, of division. So I'm going to write those steps down real quick. Dirty, monkeys, smell bad and it, those steps totally totally correlate um, with the process of using manipulatives. So we have divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Okay, so I can divide a two-digit by a one-digit with a remind with a remainder. All right, so I'm going to skip that first problem, and so we're going to jump right to the second problem on your sheet, and that is 27, the number 27, divided by Five. So let's say you had 20, 27. In this case, we have 27 cubes. Could be 27 dollars. Could be 27 whatever. 27 divided by five. So we know we're going to have five groups. Correct? Two, three, four, and five. Five groups. So 27 bucks. Let's call them dollars right now. That's more fun. Money's always good. We're going to take that 20, 27 dollars and divide it among your five buddies. Okay. So uh, first thing to recognize is I have uh, two tens. There's my 20, and then I have seven ones. Um, I'm recognizing right away that I cannot divide. I cannot take those two tens and put them equally among those those five. So I'm going to have to break them apart into ones. The moment I start breaking them apart into ones, I'm really talking about ones. So five does not. We're going to have nothing right here. We're going to say that five goes into 27. Okay, and let's see how many times that goes in there. Let's start distributing those two tens. All right, we're getting there. I have three so far in each pile almost. Okay, I'm almost done with my tens. You can do this at home. This is a lot of fun. Okay, and um, at this point I can continue dividing my ones now. One, two, three, four. It looks like I'm going to have a remainder on this one of two. Okay, so I divided 27. I could not take my tens and divide them in there. So I took my uh, tens and broke them into ones. And it looks like one, two, three, four, five. It went five times with a remainder of two. So we think the answer might be five with a remainder of two. Let's check it using our, our uh, good old-fashioned traditional method here. So let's say, does five go into two? It does not. But will five go into 27? Well, we can use our multiplication chart here. And we can say, does five go into 27? Well, there's not exactly 27. There's a 30. That's too big. So I'm going to back up to 25. So five times five, or five goes into 25, five times. So I'm going to put a five up here. Next step is to multiply. Five times five is 25. Okay. There's my 25 I have right there. So five times five is 25. And then I'm going to subtract this 25 away from my original. So five from seven is two. So there's my remainder 2. There's where that remainder 2 came from. So traditionally, we would say remainder 2. All right, let's go on to the next one. Um, let's, let's actually back up to that first one. I'm dropping these all over the place. Let's back up to that first one <coughs> on the sheet there, which was, is 53 divided by 6. Okay, so 6 uh, will not go into 5, but it will go into 53. And we can use our multiplication table. Hopefully you have one out in front of you. 6 goes into 53. There's 54. Back it up. 6 does go into 48 8 times, so I'm going to put an 8 up here. All right, because the 6 did not go into the 5. So I know that 6 goes into 53 eight times, so I can kind of picture six groups and eight ones inside of each group. Six times eight was 48, and then we're going to subtract at this point. Okay, so 
8 from 3. We're going to have to borrow here, right? So that's going to be a 4, and this is going to be a 1. Actually, so you're borrowing the, the 110, as you remember from previous targets, and bringing that 110 over to the 1's column, so that becomes a 13, and we can use a count-up strategy from 8 to 13 to subtract 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I believe the answer, the remainder is going to be 5, remainder 5. All right, let's uh, look at the time here. We're at five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop there and allow you get to continue working on this target. Have fun, and as usual, work hard.